Coronary angiography performed on a 70-year-old man showed severe narrowing of the left anterior descending artery. Which of the following structures is less likely affected by the obstruction? So the narrowing affects the anterior descending. This is the anterior descending. It's a branch of the left coronary artery, which means that we should have an idea about the branches of the left anterior descending artery or the anterior interventricular artery. Now in option A, the AV node or the AV nodal branch is um, a branch of the right coronary artery in 80% of the cases, of the left coronary artery in 20% of the cases, but it's a branch of the circumflex artery, not of the left anterior descending. Therefore, the AV nodal branch will not be affected by this narrowing and this will be the correct answer. But let's check the other options and make sure that we have chosen the correct answer. The AV bundle is supplied by the anterior interventricular artery because the anterior interventricular artery, as you see here in the, a section of the heart, it supplies septal branches that supply the anterior two-thirds of the interventricular septum, including the AV bundle. So the AV bundle will be affected in this case. The right ventricle, although it's supplied mainly by the right coronary artery, but it also receives some branches from the anterior interventricular artery, some ventricular branches, small ventricular branches contributing to the supply of the right ventricle, so it will also be affected. The left ventricle, of course, it will be affected in this case because it is supplied by diagonal branches from the LAD from left anterior descending. These are branches that supply the anterior surface of the uh, left ventricular wall. And of course, the interventricular septum must be affected because of the septal branches of the left anterior interventricular artery that supply the anterior two thirds of the interventricular septum. So we are left only with option A, the AV nodal branch because the AV nodal branch, whether it's a branch of the right coronary artery or left coronary artery, is not going to be affected because if it's a branch of the left coronary artery in 20% of the cases, it's a branch of the circumflex branch and not of the anterior interventricular artery.